Hello everybody, and welcome to Tech in 5 Minutes. Today, we're talking about non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Why are some NFT items worth millions? Let's find out. On our channel, we share thoughts on recent developments in the tech industry. Subscribe not to miss new videos. Let's start. What is a non-fungible token? A non-fungible token, or NFT, is a digital asset used to represent the ownership of unique physical or digital items, like works of art, real estate, music, or videos. They can be bought or sold online in exchange for cryptocurrency. NFTs can have only one official owner at a time. The majority of NFTs are secured by the Ethereum blockchain. By the way, if you want to learn about the Ethereum smart contracts, check out the article prepared by our experts. The link is in the description. So how are NFTs different from cryptocurrency? Well, NFTs and cryptocurrencies have only one thing in common, the underlying blockchain technology. Unlike NFTs, cryptocurrencies act as real currencies. They have value and let you buy and sell things. Like real money, they are fungible tokens which means they can be exchanged for one another. To put it simply, one Bitcoin will always be worth another Bitcoin. NFTs, however, are one-of-a-kind tokens that show ownership over the unique items. It is impossible to exchange one NFT for another. In fact, the NFT item has no equivalent value other than what the market is willing to pay for it. So what are NFTs used for? The primary aim of NFTs is to provide creators and artists the opportunity to monetize their art. Everyone who creates content can sell it as NFT without the need to rely on galleries or auctions. If you buy an NFT item, you obtain exclusive ownership of a particular digital asset. Yet, the copyright or licensing rights might not come with the purchase. It means that artists can receive royalties whenever their art is resold to the next owner. By the way, would you like to buy an NFT item? Share your thoughts in the comments. Aside from that, NFTs can be used for a number of other purposes. Gamers can buy and resell in-game NFT items to enrich their gaming experience. Game developers can earn royalties when NFTs are resold. Event organizers can use NFTs to sell and track event tickets, reducing the risks of fraud. Educational institutions can use NFTs as certificates, verifying that a student has earned the degree. Let's delve deeper and find out what NFTs are worth and how to buy them. If you already feel like buying your first NFT, all you need is a digital wallet to store NFTs and cryptocurrency, and of course, the cryptocurrency that your NFT provider accepts. The cryptocurrencies can be bought using a credit card on such platforms as Coinbase, Kraken, eToro, OpenSea, and others. How much are NFTs worth? Well, the price is set by the creator or current owner. Or, there may also be an auction, and you'll have to bid on the NFT. The truth is that the value of the NFT is in the eye of the person who buys it. And sometimes, owning a complete unique object may be worth nearly any expense if the person wants it badly enough. For example, digital artist Beeple sold every day's the first 5,000 days for $69.3 million through a Christie's auction. It's the most expensive NFT item so far. So where to buy your first NFT item? You can find NFTs on online exchanges or marketplaces. We at Jelvix distinguish the top three leading NFT marketplaces. The first one is OpenSea.io. It's one of the largest peer-to-peer -peer NFT platforms. Here, you can find everything from in-game items and collectibles to music, artwork, GIFs, etc. The second platform is Rarible, a community-owned marketplace where users can collect, sell, and create digital art. Similar to OpenSea.io, it offers practically all sorts of things. The last platform is Foundation, a digital art platform with minimalistic design. The characteristic feature of this marketplace is the community's exclusivity. Artists can join the platform and sell their NFTs only after receiving a community invitation. And finally, are the NFTs worth investing in? As with purchasing any other artwork, 
When you buy NFTs, you make an investment, which has its pros and cons. Buying NFTs may give you the sense of ownership of something unique, especially if the purchased item holds meaning for you. Besides, there's always the potential for growth in the value of the token you've bought. However, keep in mind that NFTs are confusing assets with uncertain value. Their worth is based on how much other people will pay for them. Once you've bought an NFT item, no one can guarantee that its price won't decrease. Therefore, if you're considering investing in NFT, take time to assess all the risks. Well, NFTs have transformed digital art into verifiable assets that can be easily obtained online. While some of these items are sold for millions of dollars, others remain or become worthless. Anyway, do you think this transformation of art will last? This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. Jelvix helps top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We provide world-class enterprise software engineering, design, and technology consulting services. Find our contact details in the description box. Thank you for watching this video. We share our experience of software development and tech tips here. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.